Opening season is one of the most anticipated times of the year for anglers, regardless of what species you're after. Trout, bass, walleye, you name it. Opening day can be compared to Christmas. But what if the season never closed? There are places we as Canadians can go that have open seasons year round and allow us to fill our fishing addiction. The Niagara region of Lake Ontario and Lake Erie is one of those places. Today, I'm going fishing with my good friend, Paul Castellano of Cast Adventures. We're heading across Lake Erie for some late fall smallmouth bass that are set up in their wintering grounds in over 40 feet of water. There we go. We're good. Yeah, there's a, there's a ton of fish like this in the lake, right? It's really beef. healthy. Beef, a lot of beef on them. Congratulations, Mike. Look at this brute. This country was built on fishing, hunting, and trapping. Pursuing wild game in the vast lakes, rivers, and forests has been a part of Canada's heritage for over two centuries. Back then, it was about survival. Today, anglers and hunters act as stewards with the focus on conservation, wildlife management, and habitat preservation. Whether you're urban or rural, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say that I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters celebrating 85 years of conservation proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Excalibur Crossbow, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything. And Yukon Gear. Keep on pulling, buddy. Oh, he got off and he was huge. Big one! Recently, we invited other outboard owners to look deeper into Mercury Verado. The mid-range throttle response is amazing. Got a lot of power for low RPM. Whoa! I can't get over the, the, the power that it has, how quickly it accelerates. The torque is unbelievable. Verado is up to 13% quicker than other four-strokes. Visit MercuryMarine.com to see more ways Verado beats the competition. Mercury Marine, look deeper. Feel that bad boy? Woo. It's not about the shot itself. It's about all that came before it. A company that's given back to conservation so that the tradition of hunting will continue. A leader in innovation since its founding. It's the legendary excellence you've come to expect. You've got that history in your hands. Now it's about settling the crosshairs, focusing on that moment in time, and one legendary trigger pull that changes you. Winchester, the American legend. I guess my first Yamaha was uh, 1986, and uh, after that it was Yamaha, Yamaha to no end. When I look at uh, timber property that I'm going to buy or, or, or be harvesting, you need a good reliable machine to get you through the swamps. Pretty rough going some places. Different people have asked me about, you know, why I buy Yamaha. Keep buying them because of the reliability and the product that they make is just uh, what we want. I'm Barry Elmhurst, owner and operator of BW Forest Products, and this is my Yamaha. Closed captioning for Angler and Hunter Television is provided by Winchester Ammunition, an American legend. Right there. Both Paul and I are avid bass anglers, but I have never had the chance to hit these deep water smallies on Erie. So Paul took the day off to join me and have some fun using Humminbird's latest sonar to locate and hook into some hard fighting smallies. That's not little. <laughs> Get it down there, man. Put that spoon down. The grass just lit up Stupid with them. Spoon. <laughs> Oh, look, my bait's there. I can get both at once. Let's see if we can do this. We're stuck there. Get, 
I got my bait. Look at that, recycling. All right. What can I say? <laughs> All right. They bunched up when we find them. You're gonna get a couple in a row. You know? oh, I see a couple right here. And then nothing, own, like nothing. Crawler. And then a couple like that. Bait doesn't suck. Just get lucky. It's the screen, I can see them. You get the lucky. That's right. I don't give you a chance. If we're going this way, they show up here first, that's it. He's a little guy. I didn't want him either. Yeah, he's just a little guy. We don't want him. I'm after giants. I'm getting excited. Those are big hooks. Game on. That's a huge advantage. Good electronics. That's awesome. Yeah, it's working. You good know what? For me. Like my stuff is so outdated. It's good, but not like this, man. That's a freaking. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> He's trying to jump. jump. I'm getting my arse kicked. That's okay. It's early. In a minute. Put the spoon on. Spoon hmm. doom. I'm not even gonna help. Look at him. You can't even. I see that. There's no. There's no. I'm busy. That's it. Hey, every man for himself. Preoccupied. Ugh. That works. Tell me when you find some big ones. I will. I'm trying. <laughs> I need pliers. You hit it so good. I got something here somewhere. I need pliers. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Choking on that thing. Get out of there. It's a good fish. Look how fat they are. This guy's got. Oh. That's not a good like infection or something. Yeah. Oh. See you, buddy. I'm just gonna watch Paul catch the <laughs> catch the fish here. This is big. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna get the net. If it's not big, guess what? You're gonna have to sit down and find out. <laughs> okay. That's my lures out. <laughs> this is big. That's not big. What are you talking about? What's wrong with that? <laughs> Peterborough Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, me. I had one of those guys in my boat this year. Oh, it's only five pounds. Sorry. He's about no, four. four and a quarter. That's great. That's a good fish. Not too shabby. I don't mind. I'll take it. I would have taken him. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, it's a seven, eight, nine, ten <laughs> incher. Oh. He's under the fish finder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a large mouth. Oh no, his mouth gets open. Uh, There's how you do it, boys. Another <laughs> one. Green tubes. Should have listened to me earlier in the day. Whoo! Did that for you on purpose, eh? Yeah, I see that. My line's <laughs> right out of the boat. <laughs> It's pretty cool how you see it hopping there. It gets to here. Yeah, I'll just drive you around, brother. That's a big one. I think it is. Sheep's head? Walleye. No, it's, it's, not, it's a nice one. It's not Drum. a... Carp? No, it's a good one. Want me to net him? Here. Oh, well, thanks! Look at this! I got one! <laughs> Paul was really clocking the bass. You know, he's got a hot hand, and he's one of the best anglers I've shared the <laughs> boat with. Enough. Thank you. It's good enough. We just went over a whole bunch of them right there. I see what you're using. Oh, it's a drop shot bait. A little, big, little bigger hook. You want one? No. Okay. Gear up with Canadian Tire. Finesse fishing for smallmouth bass has become common practice, especially if you want to make the big ones bite. Now, tube jigs are always a safe bet, but hook penetration through stiff plastics can be a problem. The new Berkley Havoc Smash Tube is flattened on the sides to allow for deeper hook sets, and the tentacles are flat as well, creating more water displacement, making it the ultimate tube for any situation. Not all lures are created equal, so whether you're fishing shallow or deep, you can get the advantage by stocking up on baits that incorporate the latest technology. To see more great soft plastics, check out your local Canadian Tire store or visit canadiantire.ca. Coming up, more great fishing action. The new Excalibur Matrix changes everything. Matrix is the first compact recurve crossbow. Matrix is faster. Try 380 feet per second and more powerful. Matrix is lighter. 
better balanced, easier to cock, quieter, has less recoil, is more consistent, more accurate. It can't be dry fired. It can be decocked. Matrix is superior in every way. The new Excalibur Matrix changes everything. They're up there, you know. I've been to the ship. I've seen things. I've smelled things. Look, I'm trying to forge here. They bore you with the smell. They got me, but I escaped. Yeah, from the loony bin. The scent was like a blood trail, but it's deception. Get away from me. Beware, my friend. Trust no one. Trust no one. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He's gonna jump. No, he's not gonna jump. Well, it looks like a good fish, Mike. I don't don't know, he's pulling pretty good. Oh no. You just keep working him there. How buggy it is. He's a bambino. Put up a good fight, though. Got him. I got him. Right through the cheek. Well, players, Mike? Just like that. Straight down. That's weird. So random. There's nothing out here. We go to those other spots. They look great. We come out here. Oh, Mike, can you be fair? We cut the boat just to the. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, man. Just to the right a little. Or left, left. My left. I don't think it's very big. <laughs> That'll work. Oh no, the net snag. <laughs> I got him. That's a nice one. It'll work. To be honest. Oh, get him. Holy. Funny how in the fall their, their heads are the same size as they always are, these little small bones, these little bodies, heads. Like you, explode, like you, you squeeze them. Double in size. Bop. He's okay. Go feed. Feed Jake. A lot of the same baits, eh, all year? Yeah. Drop shots, tubes. The jig and spoon, though, I think I, I, it's the calm is hard unless you get right on top of them. Yeah, mark them and then work it. He's a porker. Good looking fish. Yeah, fun. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go swimming. Thank you, sir. Nice one. Thanks Sorry, a lot, man. buddy. You took it and swam over that way. Okay, I'm gonna get all it Really? What are you? got a mile of line out. He's I think jumping. It's a perch. Is it a perch or a bass? Just had Look a how far away this fish is. <laughs> this is a good one. You got one? Not a boy. Nice, man. <laughs> he was hanging around yours. Yeah, you I swam did. yours by That's mine. Right. He's just another little one. <laughs> no kidding. Double. Oh. Yours isn't too shabby. We'll take it. That's one. Uh, oh. All right. Room for mine in there. Good job. Miller. Little studs. All little chunks. Look at that. Eh? He just drilled it. Now he's putting up a fight beside the boat. <sighs> he's coming up now. He's a little guy, but still. You know what, for November? It's great. My birthday's this week. I'm gonna catch a 10 pounder. I hope you do. I really do, I mean it. That's the kind of, that's the size of smaller you eat. Good fish? Nah. One of those fast head shakers. Oh, good. Yeah, you know what? They're really grouped look up. Look far. at the freaking line you have up there. It's 155 yards away. But it is clear. I mean, those fish can see that. Oh, he's not bad. There's fish. He yeah. just flopped on the surface. Oh, oh yeah, that's a little butterball. When they're dark, they look bigger. There you go. Mercy. 
how many of these guys are out here, you know? I don't know. This it's endless. Lake Erie is the mecca. For not only bass, but for trout and walleye. Everything, man. It's one of the best fisheries I've ever, ever experienced, for sure. Wow. Two hooked good. Two and a half, three pounder. Solid fish, nice. Torpedoed, swim off. Gulf Alive presents The Fishing Edge. Oh, yeah. More and more anglers are switching to braided line and unifilament line for its strength and durability. But in clear water, it can be visible. I'm going to show you a way to tie a fluorocarbon line onto a braided line to make a leader that's virtually invisible in clear water. First thing I do, double the two ends of the line over each other like this. Then, grab your braided line, make a loop. Now with your braided end, take the tag end, make a loop over both lines, and simply wrap it through itself four times. One, two, three, four. Pull that, not so it's tight, just so it's clenched down on itself. Then go to the other side, take your floor and do the same thing. Double the line and wrap it around four times. One, two, three, four. Pull your loop tight, just so it's snug right there. Now that you've got your two knots made, gently pull it together like that. Snug it up, give your tag ends a quick pull. Snip them. One, two. Now you've got a connection between your braid and your floral. That is super strong. Now all you do is just snip the end of this floral, tie it onto your bait, and you've got yourself a nice, super strong, super clear leader. Coming up, more great fishing action. More than a century ago, Browning introduced the auto-loading shotgun to the world. Today's Browning Silver continues that tradition with greater reliability, softer felt recoil, better handling, and more features than ever before. The Browning Silver, the auto-loading shotgun that does it all. Browning, the best there is. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator rifle scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. Now's the time you've been waiting for. Lund 1775 and 1875 Pro V's are back. Pro V's are built tough with double plated hulls, marine grade treated plywood, and reinforced transoms. Plus, Lund's exclusive IPS2 hull provides precise boat control and a soft, dry ride. State of the art live wells, accessories, and tons of storage for rods and gear, making all Pro V's the choice of professionals. Visit your local Lund dealer and reward yourself with the best. You've waited long enough. You got something going here, Mr. Miller. Holy, how long you been at this? Myself, bass fishing? Oh, well, my dad's been taking bass fishing since I was... And you started tournament four. fishing with your dad, or...? I did. I was, uh, I started pre-fishing for him, with him. Sorry, because I wasn't legally allowed to do tournaments when I was seven. Seven? And then when I was 15, I did my first event with him, tournament, on Lake Erie. And we, you know, we were lucky enough to end up in the money. You're hooked ever since? Oh, no pun intended, but pretty much, man. 
Nice one. That's a good fish too. They're all, you know, that same kind of year class. Got a few bigger ones, but there's nothing wrong with those. Those are, those are great bass. fish. Yep. So yeah, I guess I've been bass fishing now 31 years. Wow. Yeah, for a young lad. A couple days now. Like, <laughs> see that rod yeah. bounce? <laughs> he was swimming towards us. Wow, he's burning up to the top. <laughs> he's going to try a jump. I'm going to walk back to him here. Isn't that funny, huh? He wants to go into the boat. I got him, I got him. Little guy. But you know what? We just drove over that pack. We marked them. And uh, here he is. Here he is. He's home. Not a giant. But you catch these guys in the summer, they're probably a pound lighter. Oh, it's still, you know what? Mike, it's surprising. That's a thick fish, man. Look how fat they are. Yeah. They're great. He makes these jams with these. <laughs> Get bigger. When you first hook them, they don't feel big. They just come and come and come, but now look at this guy's dog. Look at that, buddy. Feel bigger? No, he's just going straight down. <laughs> Here, let me get to that. I'm good at catching them little aggressive ones. I don't need the net, brother. You're okay, yeah? Yeah. Right. And that's all okay over here. Oh, well, there you go. And that's all okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> There we go. There's that one. That's the key. Look at you. Where did you get the big ones? I think it's just Anybody wants to come out and catch a whack of bass, just call Polly up. I think it's good. Good problem to have. I'll come with you. Wing it through them. Get back out there. I don't even know if my tube had time to hit the bottom on that last one. <laughs> you got that pretty quick. You like this net? It's great. It's efficient. It's small <laughs> but flat. In tournaments with bass tournaments, man, you just whoosh. it's good. Nice little fish. Two hundred years of two hundred years oh. since we had to, went to war with the Americans and now look at we're taking advantage yeah. of a small <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Thank you, General Brock. And okay, what they'll do is in three or four will swim behind them and follow, right? And one once one commits, I think so. the other ones get all bent out of shape and ornery. Look at this guy, he's a technician. It's gonna be the war of 2012. You can really mess your arm up doing this though. Do you do this every you day? You mess your arm oh, up doing this. I'm not kidding, yeah. man. How'd you hurt your arm? Fishing. Yeah, you think it's a joke. That's why you That's why you guide instead of just recreationally fish. You don't want to wear yourself out. Oh! That's great. lovely. The guy nipped at it three, four times though. I know, I set the hook three times on a nipper there and never did not uncut him. That's great. Oh, ah, ha, ha. Oh. That was your fish. Oh, oh. you just got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not that big. It's huge. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Oh, I got to give props to my friend. My friend James Dunn said, guys, I got a great spot. James Dunn from Rip and Lips Fishing Team. Thanks, buddy. That's it right there. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, <laughs> bud. Look at the size of that. Want to weigh him? I don't know. What do you think he is? Mike, come here. Four, 13. 13 and a quarter. Four, 13 and a quarter. Five Almost pounder. A five pounder. That's great. Look at you. Miller. Not a bad, not a bad. He's going to jump. Look at you, eh? Shutting my motor off. Huh. Oh, he's, he's thinking line. <laughs> I think it's a trout. <laughs> 
he's acting big. He's a troot. He's got a troot. Do you? I don't know. He's staying Sometimes down. We get, we get the odd laker out here. Well, he's fights like he's fighting like a trout because he's got these big long strides. Look at him. Whoa, whoa. Either that or he's a 24 inch smallie. <laughs> he's a 24 incher. He's got a. That's big. That is big. Oh, <gasps> it is a nice one. Nice job. Porker. Thank you. You're welcome. Dang, dumb it. That's a good one. That is a good fish. Look at that. Mike. He's still fighting. <laughs> Solid fish. Oh, man. I just nice skin hooked him. Look at Opening season may be months away, but that's no reason to be closed minded. Look up the seasons that are open year round in your area. Whether it's a river, creek, pond, or a great lake, there's sure to be somewhere that you can <laughs> wet a line and let loose in between seasons and before the winter freeze up. Angler and Hunter Television was brought to you by. Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Excalibur Crossbow, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything. And Yukon Gear. Visit Angler and Hunter Television online at ahtv.com. You can find more information on today's show and past episodes or other great websites of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And remember to conserve and protect the great outdoors.